Hey, hey, João Capella here, your performance and mental coach for dance sport. And let's talk about smile. Yes, one very important thing that every, everybody understands that when we feel something, our body will react in, in the, that way. For example, if you are sad, immediately you will adopt a closed position. You will hang out like, like this. You will be more close, more sit down. You will walk slowly. You will talk slowly. Everything will be more close. And do this we call our physiology will change in accordance to our feelings. And opposite, when we feel happy, we are, we walk like this, very big, great, okay, smile on our face, open eyes, we talk loud, we talk quickly, we walk quickly, okay? This is, 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 is unconscious, but it happens, right? And we all understand this. We all understand. If we see someone walking like this, we are sure that he or she is not sad or in a depression. Maybe it's crazy, but not sad, right? And if you see someone sit down with tears <laughs> or like very close, it's a little bit sad maybe. And we all understand this. We understand that our feelings will change our physiology. But why, what am I, am I talking and I'm telling you now, I'm showing you now, is the opposite. If you change your physiology, you can also change your mental state and emotional state, okay? And this is what we are always trying to find in our mental training, mental coaching, okay, performance coaching. We want to change our emotions. We want to feel good when we are going to a dance competition. We want to feel positive, we want to feel um, energetic and not sad, but many times that is difficult. We, there are so many things happening around us that is very difficult to feel positive and empowered and great, oh, I'm feeling relaxed and good and energetic uh, to go to the competition. It's difficult. So what happens is that we, uh, we need to do something to change our, to change our mental state and I'm talking even our emotional state it is even a higher level okay we have to what if you add a kind of tool that could change your emotional state not your emotion emotional state change your physiology but something that you could change in the way that you would feel better right okay there are medicines but I'm not talking about that natural things so there are scientific studies that have shown now re very recently that if you change your physiology, you will also change your emotional state. So the opposite is also true. So if you are sad, you will change your physiology and be like this. But if you start in the opposite, if you change your physiology, this will affect your emotional state. And that was a great discovery because we, sports psychologists, mental trainers, we said, that is great. So this means if I change the physiology of someone that is sad, he will start to feel happy or positive or energetic, what we want. Yes. And the, the, the main one or one of the most important ones in the way to feel positive because I think that is what you want. You don't want to feel negative and sad. You want to feel positive, right? So one of the main things is the smile. Smile is your physiology, okay? And when you are sad, you don't smile, right? So there were studies and there are studies that shows when you smile, when you decide to smile, your brain will understand that you are in a positive, happy mode and will start to release the hormones that makes you feel that way. Dopamine, for example, okay? The, the ones that usually happen when you are in a happy, positive situation, like when you eat chocolate or you are hanging out with friends or when you win a competition, there are dopamine released in your brain and in your body and you feel good. This feeling is chemical, chemistry, okay? 
So when you smile, happens the same thing. Happens the same thing. So you just need to smile and immediately in this reverse engine, your brain say, okay, he's in the positive state. So let's make him feel positive. So before we believed and we, we, knew, we knew that when you are in a positive state, the dopamine was released and then you start smiling because you were happy. But now we also know that the opposite is true. So you are sad, you are in a negative mode, something not so good happened with you, but you need to be positive, you need to be energetic because you have a competition or even a practice session, okay? And, or a, a lesson, and you need to be there, focused. So, start smiling. And my question is, how many times a day do you smile? This is a very important question because when we ask us this, this question, we start to realize that, that we don't smile so many times. We don't smile. We spend mostly of the times not smiling. And why? We are always serious because we are practicing. We are serious because we are focusing on our work and studies. We are learning the lessons and we adopt a serious look. But now you know that when you adopt a serious look, you are telling to your, to your brain, <coughs> to your brain that you are not relaxed. You are serious, sad, uh, with, with pressure. Okay. This is the face of, of something is happening okay so worry so start to do the opposite so homework every day set two times five minutes to smile yes this is artificial okay i, I will smile but i don't have a reason to smile you don't need to have a reason to smile you are alive so you have a reason to smile so set two times five minutes five minutes in the morning five minutes in the night or in the afternoon that you say okay now I will smile for five minutes and you smile like this. Okay, and that's, that's all. You don't need to do anything else. You just smile, smile, smile. And slowly you will start telling your body that when you smile is because you are happy. On the beginning it doesn't happen immediately the effect, but if you do this every day, okay, like everything you need to practice, then when you are used to that and you need it to, to be in a happy mode, you just smile and in, the effect will be quicker. But attention, you don't, you don't smile like the fake smile. I'm smiling for five minutes. No, no, you have to smile with your body and it's proven that you need to use your eyes like this, like close your eyes, feel, okay? Feel your eyes like smiling, smiling, smiling and that that will happen so don't just do like this and opens that will happen of course if you put emotions it will be uh, bigger but only the physiology will be enough so only the smile that we are talking today is enough so every day smile for five minutes two times a day and you will get used to when you trigger your smile you will start feeling good and positive and this this works okay everything that I tell you that I say <laughs> works. So keep doing that and please let me know how it's going, if it's working with you, if it's not working and ask, ask any question. I will try to ask, to answer and help you. So let me know if this is working for you. Okay, bye bye. Hey, it's Joao. Did you like this episode? If you do, you can do three things to continue your journey. First, subscribe to my channel so I can keep sending you videos on a weekly basis to change your daily sport life, okay? Second, you can just leave me a comment and please let me know what are you struggling with on your daily sport career? What are your biggest challenge? I want to hear from you. And third, Go to my website and sign up to my newsletter so I can send you free offers, free products and updates on my events, on my mental training for dance sport uh, lectures and where I'm going to be. Okay, just go there and sign up. Grab one of these buttons over here and do it. Okay, so 
uh, I look forward to see you soon. And until then, I hope you have a wonderful and happy and great dance sport career, or as I call it, a dance sport on fire. <laughs>